Hi guys, Silver Fox here. Um, just going to show you, I think a lot of you guys have misunderstood how I've designed these PCBs. One thing I will say is I have designed these PCBs with simplicity in mind. We've all heard the saying, keep it simple, stupid. Well, believe me, these are really simple. Um, there's a few disclaimers on the French website about these boards. Um, the main one is the buffer has to be removed and because the buffer has been removed when making adjustments E1, E2 and the power going to the Logitech board needs to be cut off. The way that they originally was cutting off this power was by unscrewing the terminals. Unscrew the terminals, um, take away power. Um, take away the E1, E2, etc, etc. Um, doesn't work too well that way um, because how are you supposed to plug in to your Logitech board, plan my Logitech boards there, and kill power to the Logitech but using the Logitech's own power to power this board? Ain't happening, is it? So this is what I did. Um, this is a partial kit. I'm still waiting on a few parts. But I've got the parts I think I got that's going to be HV oh yeah by the way this is the HV plate you see a high voltage area this will go on like that and you get some standoffs as well this little piece you snap off and then that that little piece will go there basically that just keeps everything at one height otherwise you get you'll have that and you don't want that do you so Okay, so let's show you what I'm going on about. Now, this is your... Oh my god. I didn't, did I? I broke my power supply. Ah, ain't that clever. Yep, I broke my power supply. Okay, so this is um, your 2.1 mil jack. Let's pretend, well, let's, let's. We are going to install this. And then we are going to install our power loop. See, that's the thing. That's one thing you have to be very, you need to understand. Is your power loop. So there we go. The other thing we're going to install I'm doing this virtually, by the way. And let's just get all the components out. Um, is our loop isolate. And that's that there. Oh, let's see. Yep, yeah, so we're like that. So we're going to switch that on. Okay, so this is what happens. We're going to use an original power supply. The original power supply is going to plug in and give power to my L2 M2 board. Then I am going to provide you with a piece of wire and a header connector, one of these. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that wire and the header connector and you are gonna to wire to this um, loop. From this loop, like that, you are then going to plug in to your Logitech board. Boom! Now this is what's going to happen now. Is what will then happen is this. If I need to, I need to adjust the adjustments on this board. So I need to give this power. But at the same time, I need to kill power to the Logitech. So in theory, I'd unscrew those terminals, pull the leads out. That's only theory. In practical, because I've made this simple, I flick that switch to off. Now, I've got power coming into my Logitech board, but no power coming out of here, going to the, sorry, to the L, got power coming into the L2, M2, sorry, my, my bad, but no power going to the Logitech. Logitech power's been killed. Same with the E1, E2, right there. Stick that on there, and we've got your enable, disable. So, 
flick it up and we disable. Now we disable. We've just disabled those. We don't have to unscrew it. Again, one of those on there. So we've just disabled everything now without having to unscrew, remove, don't have to do nothing. All we do, flick a couple of switches, we're done. And that's why I made it nice and simple. Now, now the other thing is option B. This was option A. Now I'm gonna show you option B. Option B, you will have a header connector there. You'll have a header connector there. Now, this is why you have a header connectors and why you would need a header connector. I have a beautiful, thank you, Dev, TTY0 um, USB, um, a Traco power, 24 volts, screw headers. So what I would do, so I'd get two wires, and I'd, I'd screw two wires, just like Jammer, two wires there to zero, ground and 12, and then I'd screw them into there, ground and 12. Has to be there, always. Then I get my wire with my header, with DC jack, I will screw it on there. And once I've screwed it on there, I will still plug in to my Logitech board. And I can still isolate the powers, isolate the E2s if I need to. Very, very important. Do not start with powering your Logitech board and then bring power to here. No, don't wanna do that because then you've always got power to your Logitech and it defeats the purpose of this whole circuit that I've designed for you guys. You need to always give this power first and then loop the power. And that's why it's got written, and take all these components off a second. That's why I've got written on there. Like this. Loop, as you can see, because it's a loop. And then see, enable, disable, and then you got loop, disable, loop, isolate. So off is towards off, and then on is the other way. It's a loop isolate. So that's how I have designed these boards for you guys. Make it really simple. So option A, original power supply. Option B, one of these switching power supplies, 24 volters. And that's all it is. So I hope um, that clarifies it for you guys. And I hope you guys know what What's going on one thing is um i will sh you know i mean solder one up um and i'll show you how it is and i you know i mean obviously i'll give you as much support as i can when soldering these and everything but that's basically how it's going to be while i've got you here i'll show you how this board goes on so you get your nylon screw nylon because you've got some steel ones in there goes in there then you got your your riser and that goes on there, and then you screw it on. And then it sits like that with a little bit of a gap and touch it as much as you like, but you know, nothing will happen. It's the right way up as well. Yeah, it goes like that, it goes like that. Snap that piece off, that piece will just go on there. You've got enough, as you can see, the screws are quite long. You've got enough if you want to put standoff. So you screw it on, then you've got enough to screw a standoff on there if you want to, and then screw it down to the table. So I've got, I made sure. Um, these are your metal ones. These metal ones are actually to screw your transistors to the heat sink. Okay, so they'll be used for the heat sink. So that's that there. So that's basically it. I hope you guys know where we where we stand with this. And just um, put a message on the um, on the thread to let me know if you want to change your mind about option A or option B. Okay, right. I hope that uh, clarifies it. Thanks for watching, guys.